Stanford University. I'd like to begin by asking the Hugh Hefner, Dr. Timothy Leary, Ronald Reagan, Jesse Jackson, Phyllis Schlafly, a James Earl Carter Jr., George Bush. Firing Line was a program that started in 1966 that ran all the way to 1999. It was William F. Buckley Jr., by far the leading conservative, the most articulate conservative of his day. Although he loved the exchange of personality, fundamentally firing line for all those 33 years was about ideas. Uh, see, you're a wise man and you make a man think. Uh, <laughs> what I, what Did that ever happen in the uh, ring? Uh, no, you know, boxers <laughs> don't think as fast as you, they're slow. But, Firing Line was conceived not so much as an interview show, but rather an exchange of opinions. Buckley was put face to face on stage with guests of different political persuasions, and they were given a full hour to defend their positions on various issues. It is sort of a who's who and a what's what of the 20th century. Um, poets, politicians, pop icons. It also covers a lot of the best known issues of the day. Watergate, Vietnam, social justice. It was too intellectual conversation what Louis Armstrong is to jazz, which is sustained improvisation. This was a highly intelligent man, extremely well-read man, but you were also conscious of the unpredictability. And that, of course, made for good television. I should like to begin by asking Mrs. Thatcher whether there is anything I can do to cause her to feel free to criticize British or American politicians by name, should she be inclined to do so. I would be pretty unlikely to do so. Uh, I spend quite a lot of time doing that at home, naturally, but not here. Of the 1,505 episodes, about 700 of those have been preserved by the Hoover Institution Library and Archives. The collection includes the original videotapes from the show, and a lot of the formats in the collection are either at or near obsolescence. And that includes a two-inch quad tape, which is one of the oldest known broadcast videotape formats. So the archivists are working to preserve the episodes and make them available for the public. There's just a, an enormous span or arc comprehends, in my judgment, almost everything important about post-war American history through the end of the Cold War. Intelligent questioning, civilized debate, extended across three very eventful decades. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.